Harmony Free Will Baptist Church in Ada, Oklahoma, has responded to the recent reports that Pastor David Charles Evans, well, the now late pastor, the fact that his wife was involved in a plot uh, to, yes, unfortunately, kill her own husband. They have issued a statement. We're going to cover it all, guys. Off the top, let me just mention really quick, I'm now on Rumble. It's going to be our backup. Go subscribe there to me as quick as you can. The link is down below. We recently lost our monetization here on the channel. Uh, all the revenue. We could lose the whole YouTube channel at any point. And because of that, we need your help now more than ever to help support our ministry. A couple of ways you could do that. One is through PayPal, the link down below. You could do either a one-time or monthly donation. You could also sign up on a Patreon for as little as $5 a month. That link down below will get you access to all my bonus content, my podcast, where I talk more about sensitive information, as well as the links to the YouTube videos are being posted there as well. Because YouTube will not always alert you for when new content goes out. Uh, Patreon will do that. It's just a great way to make sure you don't miss anything that I put out. I highly recommend it. All that being said, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, I've been covering this story over the past week. It has now officially been one week uh, since David Charles Evans was shot dead in his home. It was shortly after 1 a.m. when this took place. Now, at the time, that I had reported on the story, um, we didn't really have any suspects or anything. All we knew was that his wife was in the home at the time that the shooting took place and that the pastor had spoken a powerful message at church on that Sunday covering the remaining days of Jesus' ministry and talked about how, you know, if you're walking with the Lord, if you're a Christian, the devil's going to come after you. He's going to try to persecute you. He's going to try to end you. I mean, this is his goal here. And so it was a little strange that as he preached that message, you know, he ends up dead just some hours later. Well, the report came out then a couple days later on Friday that his wife, Christy, confessed to having a role in this uh, murder. She apparently um, had worked alongside of another man by the name of Khalil. However, this wasn't just some sort of a coordinated effort where the two of them had some relationship. Apparently, Christy and her husband, David Charles Evans, were swingers. And, well, they had met up reportedly more than once. Now, at, originally, when I when I reported on this, it looked like it was just one time. Uh, according to new court documents, it was said to have been multiple times at hotels. The couple were swingers. They met up with this Khalil guy. And, you know, this is the secret life that Christy said that her and her husband had. But, apparently, on one of those meetups at the hotel, Christy had given her number to Khalil. She wanted to continue that relationship exclusively just between the two of them. Now, Pastor Evans had gone on a missions trip to Mexico uh, right around between the dates of March 17th through the 19th. And apparently, and again, this is all according to the court documents now being released, that Christy had uh, slept with Khalil uh, for those couple of nights. They were together, and this is when the whole plot had apparently formed. While the pastor was in Mexico, Khalil was to come back to the house uh, that night, on a Sunday night, late Sunday night, March uh, the 22nd, 21st rather, leading into the 22nd, Christy provided him with everything he needed. She gave him the weapon. She gave him the bullets. She told him that, wait till he's asleep. You're going to come in through the back door. She left it unlocked for him. He was apparently very nervous, didn't want to go through with it really. But she said, look, it's going to be fine. I'll cover for you. Just go in, get it done, run out the back door. I'll call the police. I mean, this is... This is conniving. This is insane. The fact that this was planned like this so easily. And, and she said that it was all because the pastor was apparently you know, verbally abusive towards her and the things that he said. Now, maybe that's true. But does that is that worth him losing his life over? I don't think so. You know, the, the fact that this is coming out now that they were swingers. You know, look, I don't approve of that at all. That's wrong. If that truly happened. Now, of course, Pastor Evans isn't here to defend himself. So whether or not that was true or not. Who's to say? Of course, in this day and age, you know, <laughs> anything could be true. So I can't put it past, you know, then that this, you know, very well may have happened. But I mentioned the church and Harmony Free Will issued a statement. They are in shock and awe right now about what happened. All these new revelations and details that have come out. You know, this is a church that had no idea that any of this was going on at all. You know, they loved their pastor. You know, they, they loved the messages that he brought, the encouragement. He was a completely different person. But if he was living this double life... You know, we've seen this time and time again with so many of these big-time evangelists, not just big-time evangelists, but smaller, you know, churches as well, pastors there, 
where they are living two separate lives. They're preaching one thing and they're living a completely different life, you know, you know, when they leave the church. Uh, but they're grieving right now and they're saying that, you know, they hope that, you know, they, they realize and recognize that nobody is perfect. They want, you know, forgiveness for uh, Pastor Evans. They want forgiveness uh, for Christy, uh, for the man Khalil that reportedly was the one that shot Pastor Evans. And so they know it's going to take some time to get through this. They're just deeply saddened by what took place right now. No official word as far as when, when a new pastor is coming in to replace um, uh, David Evans. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But this leads me, you know, to the goal of our ministry here is that we're trying to get people to Jesus because we are in the last days. We're so close to his return. And if you're watching this video now, look, we are all imperfect people. We all need a savior. This is the truth. But we need to recognize at first that we are sinners and we need to repent of that sin. Now you can start by acknowledging that God sent his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for your sins. You ask him to forgive you. You have to repent. Now important to know, repent means to turn from your sin. So that's a lifestyle, a habit, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the word of God says. In the case of Pastor Evans, if he was truly guilty of being a swinger and he was involved in this and this led to his death, I hope that he repented. I hope that he truly turned from the lifestyle that he was living behind the scenes. Only him and God know that now. But for you watching this now, you can turn from that sin too. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He will wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't even remember it anymore. And then you ask Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God saved. You will have eternal life in heaven. There is no greater decision you're ever going to make on this earth than the one you make to give your life to Christ. So I pray you make that decision today. Guys, you can let me know your thoughts down below on what took place here with Pastor David Charles Evans, Harmony Free Will Baptist Church. Again, you can also not forget, a links to donate are there as well. It is a great blessing to our ministry. My Rumble page is also there. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.